So Capture Now is very simple. You just press play on the deck, then hit Capture Now, and it brings it in. And then Escape to stop it. This is good if you need to bring in like a long clip, like a 30 minute clip, and you don't want to set an in and out. Uh, you just want to like let it roll in. Or if you're looping, let's say, a VHS tape through a digital device, uh, and you'd start the VHS tape, and you'd hit Capture Now. So Capture Now is good if you have material that has no time code, or there are long takes. Now we've talked about logging clips, pressing I for in, or mark in and mark out, then logging the clip. I've talked about Capture Now. But what is clip? Now notice it doesn't say clips, it says clip. And what clip does is allows you to very quickly bring in one clip at a time. Now what is clip? What clip allows you to do is to bring in one clip at a time. And it skips a bunch of steps that you normally have to go through. Normally you'd I'd have to hit batch, then hit OK, then insert a reel. Clip allows you very quickly just to bring one clip at a time. It's kind of for like if you're in the middle of editing and you just need like one shot really quickly. That's what it's designed to do. So I'll find my edit. I for in, O for out. And now instead of hitting log clip, I'm going to go over here to clip. I'm going to hit clip. It's going to ask me to name it. I'm going to call it fireworks crowd and then I'm going to get hit OK and the machine is automatically going to bring it in. Watch. It's automatically just going to find the shot and bring it into the computer and it's going to skip a bunch of steps. It's queuing the source material you see here. And there's the clip. Now, unlike the other clips that I've identified by pressing in, then out, then logging the clip, this clip is actually in the computer now. It's been brought in online. What's interesting here in this browser is that we have two clips that still have red lines in them that are offline, what I call have the sign of the devil. And I'm going to talk about how to bring those online a little later. But the other two clips do not have a red line. And that means they've already been brought into the computer. When you use Capture Now or the clip function, those pieces of tape are actually digitized right away and brought into the computer. But later on, we're going to still have to bring those other two clips in, those fireworks clips, into the computer. But first, a quick note on logging and scripting. I really believe the best way to get your footage in to your computer is to first to go through your footage and write down all the good numbers. By numbers, I mean time code numbers. In your camera, go through. And if there's a good shot, say, OK, it starts at two minutes in and ends at four minutes. And write down two minutes to four minutes. Here, you see one of my students with his camera going through some footage of actually his brother's wedding. Some of you may end up doing some wedding tapes yourself. And you'll see up in the right-hand side of his screen are some numbers. Those are time code numbers. And every frame is assigned a number. And it's etched invisibly right on that frame. And those numbers will never change. So what he's doing is going through his tape now, and he's writing down the best scenes. And he's writing the in number, the time code in, where it begins. And he's writing the out, when the time code ends. So he's finding his shots manually first by writing down the in number, and writing down the out number. So what he's doing is he's going through his tape and he's looking at the time code numbers and when he finds a good shot, he'll, he'll write down the input, the time code number, when it begins. He'll let it play. And then when he finds when he wants the shot to end, he'll write down the out number, the time code number when the shot ends. So he'll end up with tape one in a whole list of numbers, in, out, in a little description of the shot. And then he can go and on paper, he could do a paper edit and try to decide the order of these shots so he can think about the edit before he even starts. So I believe that the, the most effective way to bring footage in is first log your tapes. Go through your tape, each reel at a time, 
and write down only the good elements. So if you're going through and writing down all the good elements, writing the in time code and the out time code and then a little description, you don't even have to have a tape in the machine to get those numbers programmed into the computer. First, make sure your real number is set correctly. So we're on tape log, real number one, so it says number one. You'll see that uh, his first in is at three minutes and two seconds. So what I'll do is I'll just type in three minutes, two seconds, and then there's no frames. So that tells the computer I want it to begin at three minutes, two seconds, no frames. You always have to type in the frames, but notice I'm not typing any colons or anything in there. And now let's look. His out is at 1821. That's kind of a long shot. So it's 18 minutes, 21 seconds, zero, zero frames. See that? So now we have our in, we have our out. That tells us how long it is. And then I'll log the clip. And this is a cutaway, so I'll type in cutaway. And it says, little Ethan. Okay, and then I hit OK. And now this occurs, this will open up in the browser with a red line inside of it. And you'll see, see it says, little Ethan, cutaway. We don't even have a tape in the machine, but it's recording these numbers. And later we'll go back and we'll put the tape in the machine and we'll batch it in and the sign of the devil or the notice that that clip is offline will go away. Write everything down and then type it in the computer. Now let's talk about how do you get clips in that have the sign of the devil. This is the browser and you'll see it has a red line in it. Can everybody see that red line? Does anybody what that, know what that red line means in this class? Offline. It's offline clip. That's right. It means actually what it means is that the devil, and I've spoken about that with some of you as you understand, the devil, the devil is in the computer, somehow got in the computer, maybe some kind of virus, and that red line is a sign of the devil. And I want this devil out of my Final Cut Pro, out of my computer. Hold on. So the way to get rid of that line is you go, Jesus. <laughs> that didn't work. Let me, let me try one more time. Holy Ghost, Jesus, get rid of that red mark, and Jesus! Oh no, it didn't work. Okay, if that doesn't work, then all you gotta do is bring the clip in and batch it in, and then it'll become online and the red line will disappear. So that red line is not the sign of the devil. I was joking. What it means is that you've given the computer the information it needs to bring in the clip, but it hasn't brought it in. Let's talk about how do you get clips in that have the sign of the devil. Now you don't actually hit the computer as I was joking around. So these two clips are offline and you can tell they're offline because they have this red line through them. These other clips, Fireworks 3 and Fireworks Crowd, we already brought those clips into the computer because we used Capture Now and the clip function which automatically brings the clips in right after you give it the information of where they are and what tape they're in. Okay. So these are already in the computer, but we've got to bring these two in. So the first step is what we'll do is I'm going to go up to File, which is right next to the Final Cut Pro logo, and I'm going to scroll down. So I'm here at File, and I'm going to click on File, and I'm going to scroll down. You can create new projects, and I'm going to go all the way down to where it says Login Capture. So now this Login Capture window is open, and we remember this window because this is where we set our in and our out. Remember that? And this is where clip is and capture now. But now we're going to talk about batch. So we're going to use this button right here, the batch button. Can you see the batch button? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit batch. It opens up the batch capture window here. Now, by the way, always make sure that your um, logging bin right here, it always says the name of the project you're on. New Year's Eve edit. So always make sure it says the name of the project you're playing with. 